we're not doing that specifically for It's this technique.
Now try, just try this as, a, as an exercise. Um, this first one, and then relax, but keep the thumb on the string. The string is resting. Yet though, I yeah. No, we don't want any of that at all. This is just to see what, what's actually happening, the mechanics of the hand that's working. Because even if it's, you wouldn't notice it's still happening to some degree. It's just a theory of how to play, so you wouldn't hold any tension there at all. So what you're doing is you just want to see what would happen if you were pressing. So you know that when you relax, it's actually this is happening. And you, so you're playing the first one more correctly, you can play more powerfully than as well. So let's just say that. So it needs to be, that looks just like normal to me, the resolution, that's how you end up. But if you're continuing to press it, you Without playing it though. Without playing Yeah, look, just the one. No, but you're doing that now, it's, it's that. Yeah, hello. Yes. 
So you see a definite movement when you play. Me Relax. But it's got to be part of this movement. So it's still going, it's still rotating, but not lifting. So what happens if you still try to play that way? Control when you release the string. That's what we're trying to find out as well. That you can actually do this, and then you can just say, no, "I'm going to let go now." That's done with you asking. That's that that controls. This part of the thing controls the release. Otherwise, it would just it would release. It would just go, just press. You just want to feel that if you're coming down this motion and you're playing through, something's happened there. It's boom. And then if you just kept doing that. Just rotates a bit more. So then when you relax it, you see a definite. You're sure that you've relaxed then. It's not a good exaggeration just to make sure. So the trouble with this is when you're playing this sort of thing. Fast. There's hardly any time to relax. Really. You can't bring the thumb away. Look, if you've got this three consecutive string, if you do this and you repeat the string by lifting or relaxing the thumb, okay, that's what the whole point about playing with the wrist is. That it enables you. If you just played like this, if you just repeat the thumb, it's just going to build up tension here. So use the wrist to alleviate the lifting part, because then there's no effort in the lifting with us. No noise. Because you can rely on that if the thumb is, is actually on the string you need to play. So no need to 
ascending. It's a nice, we don't have to bother to say the thumb away. What about when it's this though? How would you do that one? How's that done fast? Fast. How is that done fast? Anybody know? Ah. They don't actually do it. <laughs> so anything like that in flamenco is thumb, and anything that would be this. Very few examples of that being done fast and sustained, but it would be. Because you haven't got the luxury to just do it like that. So that's why it's not done. It's not pleasure.
Je vais m'acheter un set pour le